<laughs> Smell. Oh gosh, this weather is awesome. Just put some gas in the car, getting ready to get on the road. We are headed to Custer State Park, which is in the Black Hills in South Dakota. I'm gonna swing up there real quick to uh, just photograph some fall colors and, and some things like that, so it should be fun. Um, but it's time to get on the road now because it is a seven hour drive, so bring you guys along. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go. far the uh, viewing deck is just right there ish so pretty easy crossing um, there's like some logs that people set up I'm um, just be careful the rocks are slick but it's it's not that big of a deal um, got that shot looking across the creek down down uh, stream a little bit um, usually what I look for when I do those shots is just a spot where the water's like breaking and kind of getting a little rough. That's what you use to kind of uh, use that texture in the water to get your uh, leading line, um, which there, you see how the water is just choppy right there. Um, that's kind of one of the things that I look for anyways. So I'm gonna get closer to uh, Bridalville Falls and get some shots. So, um, got a shot down there, tried to incorporate some fall foliage, which was the original plan for this trip, but uh, I want to try to do five different images at each location for this trip to kind of really challenge myself to keep looking for compositions and don't just go for what's so obvious. Um, I think I did that today, and I'm pretty happy so far. Got some shots that I didn't get last time. and. I'm going to try to fight a problem that I had last time in that the waterfall is so tall when you come up here that um, it's hard to kind of get it all in the camera on like in a frame without uh, getting real kind of using weird wonky angles and you can't really include uh, foreground and so I climbed up a little bit and I'm going to try to do an adventure selfie and it's going to be a little bit um, treacherous. So I'm up here, I'm gonna set the camera up, up here on this cliff. The uh, waterfall is right there. And I am going to attempt to get back down there and stand on that rock and pose for this shot. Uh, definitely gonna have to be careful. Um, but yeah, uh, get set up. And if that turns out good, you'll see that photo. Headed to Spearfish Falls now. It's starting to snow a little bit, but it's okay. The roads are still good. Something's going on. Freaking didn't have the camera clipped in properly. And it slipped and fell off the GoPro, which was my fault. Not GoPro, the Gorillapod. Uh, a quick little three quarters of a mile hike down there and a quarter mile back. catch up when we get there. Just got to Spearfish Falls. 
and it's beautiful like I remember um, last time I was here I knew they were doing like uh, some construction or whatever and they kind of set up a nice little viewing deck over there and uh, met this nice couple from Michigan randomly there's hardly anyone out here though for this being our very major touristy location it is like honestly this is probably one of the best days of the year you got snow you got fall colors you got amazing waterfalls it's <laughs> unreal so uh, I'm gonna get the camera out um, kind of experiment I'll be here for a little while and I'll kind of start running you through those shots now okay, so I have this shot over here lined up uh, kind of what I have going just to add a little bit of interest is I have these branches here with snow as a foreground element that I'm blurring out and obviously I'm using the waterfall as my main subject. Uh, settings, I'm actually at F4 ISO 100 and I have a five second shutter speed and to get that five second shutter speed I have on a circular polarizer that does two things. It cuts light uh, about two stops and it also kind of again cuts that glare and then I have a 10 stop ND filter on which is gonna help me slow it down to get to that five second shutter speed and I like it it's pretty good you'll see it now headed back to the car now got five shots out of that location some I like more than others, but I think the point of that is just to teach myself to slow down and really look for compositions instead of just taking the obvious shot and leaving. So just trying to grow a little bit. Um, like I said, back to the car and then headed to Rufflock Falls. <laughs> Snow. Oh gosh, this weather is awesome. <laughs> back to the car. down here at Rough Lock Falls as you can see behind me. Oh, so beautiful. I'm gonna say that a lot this video, but it's it's insane. Everything is so beautiful today. Uh, so I have this one shot. This is gonna be my first kind of overall um, shot at this location. Doing the five shot challenge again. I got one, not of the falls though, so I'm not gonna count that. Uh, this one, the main one, um, what I'm doing is I'm starting wide and then working my way in to the scene and the area to go and get details and things like that. So this first shot is gonna be that first wide one, um, a little bit travel-y because I'm including the boardwalk so you have an idea of kind of what this area is like. Uh, this is kind of an image that maybe, I mean, not my style. I usually prefer to have all natural elements um, in my photos. But this one is something that you could sell to like a tourism kind of board or things like that. And that's kind of what I want to work on. Um, being able to uh, create and make sellable images as well. So I have that shot in the bag and I'll go ahead and throw that up as well. And I'm going to continue on and uh, grab some more. I still have four more shots to go on that five shot challenge. So here we go. to the car five shot challenge piece of cake at that place so beautiful um, all right like I said headed back to the car um, really happy with those long exposures that I was doing um, and hopefully I can get to Custer before Black Hills Burgers and Buns closes because it is amazing <laughs> Nice little drive down here. Just got to Custer, South Dakota, and I'm hungry, so let's eat. Oh, and we're back in the car. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been there 
since the last time I was here last year in March. And I just remember thinking, oh, man, it's one of the best burgers. I literally have been dreaming about this place for a year, and they do not disappoint. The burger I had, I don't even know what was on it. It was like a spicy pesto thing, and it was just <clears throat> super, super, super good. Flavor on point. Black Hills Burgers and Buns, if you're ever in Custer, South Dakota, it's a must for sure. Okay, I am going to uh, grab some water, use the restroom real quick, and then I'm headed to Custer State Park to uh, find a place to crash for the night. And then we got Black Oak Peak in the morning, so on the road. Okay, at Custer State Park, going to crash here for the night. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here just because if I do tomorrow on this, it'll just be super long. So, on that note, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it inspiring or educational, I would really appreciate a like. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you're new to the channel, I would highly appreciate you subscribing or at least considering doing so. Until tomorrow morning when it's really dark. Black Elk Peak, here we go.